Hello my beloved viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel on a new video of lookup series that is currently running into my channel. In my channel you will find some useful series playlist and today we are going to learn how to use the VLOOKUP where the lookup value will be partially matched with our table array in the first column, right? To learn about this formula briefly, watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. And friends, after the video ends, please check the description box there. You will find the link of the Excel data file which I am using in this video. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference, I am going to run the on-screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. And I have already created a sample file previously to save time. So here it is. In this sample excel file, you can notice that I have first name, last name, id and department in the table array and our lookup value will be in this cell that is called the h2 cell and we will use the vlookup formula into these cells, right? If you want to retrieve information from a table based on a partial match, you can do so using VLOOKUP in exact match mode and wildcards, right? So the formula will be like this and let me at first include the partial matched lookup value here as we are going to use the ROB for example so I am writing ROB this one is not case sensitive friends you can use any case of letters so we are using the VLOOKUP formula and it will be like this and note carefully friends your lookup value must contain in the first column of your table array so equals to VLOOKUP then in the lookup value we have to at first select this one then you can press F4 from your keyboard that will lock your data so that whenever you copy the formula from upside down it will not change your data then you have to put an ampersand symbol then open the double inverted comma you have to then use the asterisk symbol as the wildcard then close the double inverted comma then put a comma again now this one is your lookup value right then after putting comma it is asking for table array and in my case the table array is from b3 to e12 again you can use the f4 key from your keyboard so that it will lock your table array data range then put a comma it is asking for column index number as we are searching for the first name according to this table array the column index number will be number 1 then put a comma and we are using the exact match function so we have to put number 0 here then close the bracket and simply hit the enter button look at here as we have typed ROB Rob it is showing you as Robert as the first name and if you copy the formula from upside down you just simply have to change the column index number as desired as we are searching for the last name so our column index number according to the table array will be number 2 look at here it is showing John then in the ID it is number 3 look at here it is showing 622 and at last we have to use number 4 here to search for the department after that look at here if we search for Tony here as I am typing T O N here it will show you the result according to your partial matched lookup value right so let's check how this formula actually works VLOOKUP supports wildcards but only in exact match mode to set exact match mode make sure you supply the fourth argument false or zero like this in this case we are supplying the lookup value as this one 
this whole thing is our lookup value so if we type a string like ton into the named range that is the h2 we are giving vlookup ton asterisk as the lookup value this will cause vlookup to match the first entry in column b that begins with ton wildcard matching is convenient because you do not have to type in a full name but note that you have to be careful of duplicate or near duplicates for example in this case you can see there is no duplicates in the first name here right note carefully it is important to require an exact match using false or zero for the last argument when using wildcards so that's all for today friends hopefully you have learned a new trick of vlookup function that can be used for partial match of lookup value share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned